or criminal hotspot. Hey guys, Andrew from Bitspools here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of Railgun, a privacy-focused cryptocurrency tool that's making waves in the crypto space. And trust me, this one's got quite the story. So, what's the buzz all about? Well, Railgun has been in the spotlight lately, thanks to a few big names and some not-so-savory characters. Let's start with the good stuff. Ethereum company founder Vitalik Buterin, yes, the Vitalik Buterin, is a fan. He recently transferred a hefty chunk of ETH to Railgun, showing his support for the project's privacy-enhancing features. Buterin's not the only one singing Railgun's praises. Privacy advocates and crypto enthusiasts alike have lauded Railgun for its commitment to keeping their transactions private. Now, let's talk about the other side of the coin. Railgun has also caught the attention of some unsavory characters, namely North Korean hackers. Yes, you read that right. According to a report by Elliptic, a blockchain security firm, North Korea's infamous Lazarus Group has been using Railgun to launder stolen funds. The Lazarus Group is allegedly responsible for a slew of cyber attacks and crypto heists, including the Harmony Horizon bridge hack, where they swiped over $100 million worth of crypto. So, how does Railgun fit into their shady operations? Well, Elliptic's investigation revealed that the Lazarus Group switched to Railgun after the U.S. Treasury imposed sanctions against Tornado Cash. Tornado Cash, another popular privacy tool, was a go-to for the hackers until it got sanctioned. Despite Railgun's anti-money laundering measures, the Lazarus Group managed to launder over $60 million worth of stolen Ethereum through the platform. This incident has raised concerns about the potential misuse of privacy tools by criminals and has added fuel to the ongoing debate about blockchain regulation and anonymity protocols. Buterin's endorsement of Railgun comes as privacy tools face increased scrutiny from regulators around the world. The U.S. Treasury Deputy Secretary recently warned of the potential misuse of privacy-enhancing technologies by bad actors, and major exchanges like Binance and OKX have started delisting privacy coins, aligning with tighter regulatory frameworks. It will be interesting to see how Railgun navigates this regulatory landscape while maintaining its focus on privacy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is Railgun a double-edged sword? On the one hand, it provides enhanced privacy for legitimate users, which is a fundamental right in the digital age. On the other hand, it can potentially be exploited by criminals to launder dirty money and evade law enforcement. As regulators and industry leaders grapple with these issues, we'll be keeping a close eye on Railgun and other privacy tools to see how they evolve. Before I let you go, here's something to chew on. Railgun employs a private proof of innocence protocol that uses a zero-knowledge proof system to verify incoming funds against the OFAC list. If the funds pass the test, they're cleared for processing without privacy restrictions. Essentially, Railgun tries to balance privacy with compliance, which is no easy feat. So there you have it folks, Railgun, a privacy-focused cryptocurrency tool, making waves for both good and not-so-good reasons. As the crypto space continues to evolve, we'll be here to bring you the latest on privacy tools, regulations, and everything else that's shaping the future of digital currency. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the crypto world. And don't forget to subscribe and like the channel for more crypto insights and updates. Until next time, stay crypto curious and keep on learning.